My name is Rachel Gardner and I'm an MFA candidate here at HBU and I am a painter and a sculptor. Um, some of my greatest influences are the Lasco cave paintings, just their very primitive marks, um, their animals they used symbolically. Um, Susan Rothenberg, how she used the horse as her symbol but painted different parts of the body very abstractly. Um, and Pablo Picasso, how he continued to reinvent himself throughout his life, um, just the courage he had to do that. My art is best described as a battle between the primal and the modern world. Um, with everything going technological these days and white-walled, I feel there is a disconnect between creation, our creator, and um, ultimately to ourselves as human beings. So as you can see surrounding me um, are animals and the animals kind of became my cry through my artwork to creation, um, through the skins and um, the, the color schemes even battle. And this you'll see in my work, that being played out on canvas and through my sculpture, sculpt, sculptures with um, white, these very wild souls encased in white plastic and rust with with um, with sheen and and torn with sewn and just this battle back and forth and it's really a battle in my soul um, with this very primal longing. I do art because it is in me it has to come out it's how I communicate, it's how I express myself and how I see the world and, and connect to people. I believe that I communicate with God through my work and that I'm connecting to creation and God has so beautifully created this world with its creatures and the more you stay inside, the more you're on your your computer, on your phone, you're not in fellowship. You're not in fellowship with people, his creation. You're not in fellowship with his natural creation. And therefore, it's almost, it's almost like a prayer when I'm working. It's, it's me in communication with him about his beauty, about connecting to both to people and to his creatures. When I came into HBU, I was a painter, and as the program progressed, I was exposed to sculpture, and um, it became one of my other mediums and another way for me to express what my thesis work is after. And the wolf sculptures that are done in paper mache are representing these very wild souls encased in plastic. Um, that's why they are all white this white-walled world, um, but they have this wild wolf soul, which I believe is one of, to me, most beautiful, misunderstood wild creatures on um, our planet. Um, and that, I work back and forth between my paper mache sculptures, my paintings, and my watercolor. And in some of my watercolor work, I've taken it as far as using pen and ink and with that battle going on that I've spoken about the primal and the modern technological world you have these electrical cords busting through these animal skins these primal skins as these as we as humans have almost become robotic in a sense so I'm allowing these animals to become literally robotic you even find a, a little plug at in a lot of the corners of my work. Um, and then in my paintings, the, there are rips and, and tears and this kind of whole gospel played out on my canvas with um, birth, death, and resurrection through collage and um, found materials.